Okay, I'll be asking for volunteers. At the local baker store, Ariel bought two oatmeal cookies for a buck fifty. Mel bought a half a dozen oatmeal cookies for four fifty. Becky bought eight oatmeal cookies for six bucks. Use a graph to represent the situation. Part B says, do the number of cookies and the cost have a proportional relationship? Explain. Part C, what does the point one comma point seven five represent? And what does zero zero represent? Okay. Lots of information. First of all, let's go graph this. If I got two oatmeal cookies and I spent a buck fifty, so put a dollar right here. Then it says, Mel bought a half a dozen. Who can tell me how many are in a half dozen? Six. Six cookies, how much did they spend? Four fifty. So I go up to four fifty, I go up to six, I put a dollar right here. And last but not least, six bucks is gonna buy me eight cookies. Six dollars is gonna buy me eight. So now I go put my dot at whew, 8. So now I go and connect this line and see if it's straight. If it's straight, that means they are charging a proportional same amount for every cookie. Now there's a slight disclaimer that says you probably can't go buy a half a cookie. You probably can't buy a fourth of a cookie. You're probably buying either whole cookies or you're not buying anything at all. And it's asking me for a boatload of information here. Do the number of cookies in the cost have a proportional relationship? Who wants to tell me the two criteria that tell me if this is proportional? I'll say first of all it's yes. Yes, this is proportional. Tegan, why is this proportional? Because the line is straight and it starts at zero. Straight line and starts at zero comma zero. It always that oh, and then the yes also you're gonna get a bonus point. You're gonna get that little Einsteinian point that you're gonna be a little smarter, and you're gonna say it starts at zero comma zero or what do we call that? The origin. Origin. Awesome. Straight line starts at zero zero. Now it's kind of nice once we get that line there. If we expand it out, we can we can calculate things very very fast by looking at a little chart and whatever else. What does the represent? What does the point represent when I have 1 comma 0.75? I'm going to zoom out so you guys can still see the graph then. Now, this means X. This means Y. X is always listed first. Y is always listed second. X is talking about cookies. Cookies. Y is talking about cost. Can you tell me what does 1 comma 0.75 mean? Alexis. One cookie is 75 cents. Now, uh, be careful when you write tomorrow. If you want to use a dollar sign, use a decimal. Put dollar sign 0 0.75. That's what I'd prefer. Or you could put the cent sign. Or you could put 75 with the cent sign, but I don't think we use that as much anymore. One cookie is 75 cents. Then, what does the point zero zero mean? <laughs> What does zero comma zero mean? <coughs> it means if I don't buy any cookies, I'm going to spend no money. No cookies. But means I spend no money. No cookies, but means I spend absolutely positively no money.